So it was a weird start to your year, you know, but then you had a great performance after that. How, how does it feel right now coming into this fight? Man, it's been a blessing, honestly, this year. Even having that fight to get uh, uh, rescheduled with Kiesa, it's gave me more time to train. This has been my first time having like a full training camp for a full year. It feels amazing, man. I'm just, in this, I'm, I'm just excited to be here. It feels good to be here. This is a big spot on a big card. Does it kind of feel like justice for you to be here? It feels like you're kind of weirdly connected to this fight, right? Uh, I mean, it's, it's all lightweight, so I feel like I've been here before, man. I've been in the main event, I've been the champion before. It's, I'm just having fun. The, the idea that you guys are the backup plan, you know, I mean, obviously it's a big fight in itself, but the idea that that could be there, did that factor your decision at all in, in taking this fight and wanting to be on this card? Uh, no, you know, when I came to Vegas after uh, Kevin Lee was talking about trash, you know, me and Kevin were boys, and then he comes out and says all that stuff. So, uh, you know, I came to Vegas, had a meeting with Dana and uh, Sean Shelby. I'm like, put me and Kevin on Vegas or New York. I want to fight New York. And they're like, no, you're fighting Milwaukee. So I go back home, I think I'm chilling. Phone rings, and, and they, they, they call and tell me. I said, send the contract. I don't, I don't even care about the details, send the contract. So you're not thinking at all about, I mean, I wonder in this position if either you or Tony are kind of like, you know, if something bad happens this week, I, I might get a shot at a title. Well, that's in the back of my head, but I mean, I'm fighting Tony Ferguson, bro. A guy like that made me wake up motivated every day. It felt good to get up motivated. Like, I got this guy in front of me in, in a couple weeks. The world's going to be watching, and, and he's a killer, and I'm a killer, so it's, it's going to be it's killer, be killer. What about that matchup? I mean, the two of you guys' styles, it looks like it could be some, some insanity out there. Well, you guys know me, man. I come to fight, and he comes to fight, so I mean, this, this is a great recipe for a great fight for you guys. And last thing for me, I mean, is this, is this a number one contender fight in your mind? Um, who knows, man. I feel like it's not about the rankings no more. It's about popularity. If I go out there, I pull off the Showtime kick, I'm getting the title shot. You know, so it <laughs> all depends on like, who the fans want to see fight. What do you think about the Nate Diaz Dustin Poirier matchup coming up in New York? Yeah, I think that's a great matchup. I mean, uh, I haven't seen Diaz in a long time. I fought Dustin. Um, I know what he brings, and uh, I think that's a great matchup. It's a huge matchup for lightweight division. Anthony, you've had uh, your share of injuries over the years. Are you surprised Tony is coming back so quick from the injury you had earlier this year? Yeah, you know what? That's a quick, that's a quick return from a knee surgery. You know, I had a knee surgery done. It, it takes a long time, not only for the for the for the actual injury recovery, but for the mind to recover, just to get used to checking again and used to using it again. So, uh, I mean, I, I know we had surgery, and, and it's, it's in the front left leg, so like, it's, it's, it's there. So it's a target, right? Uh, I mean. I'm gonna go out there and fight this guy. That's it. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna defend takedowns. I'm not gonna try holding him on the cage. I'm not gonna try fighting him off my back. I'm gonna go fight this guy and try to knock him out every every time. You, know, you said you're having fun now. You've been at it for quite a while. Do, do you, you enjoy things? You take more time and appreciate them more now than you did maybe when you were younger. Yeah, I got it thrown at me, man. I, I came into UFC. I was a champion a year and a half, two years. I mean, not even two years. I was a champion of the UFC. Um, WEC. We all know how that ended. So. Uh, my career has, has, went, has went crazy. You know, I, I forgot to sit back and actually breathe and, and, and look where I was at. And when I lost the battle, I was so focused on getting it back, I didn't get to, you know, I, I didn't get to enjoy where I was at. And uh, this time around, you know, I, I'm enjoying where I'm at. I'm having a great time. I'm having, I had a great camp, and I'm just motivated to go out. I can't wait till Sunday. It's good. What about the dynamic of training the card with Sergio again? I know you guys have had mixed feelings, mixed results doing that. Yeah, man, I love it, actually. Um, I got to do the full training camp with Sergio. I can see how well prepared he is. Uh, it's on his hands, you know. It's his, it's, his, it's his time to fight. My time's gonna be later, and uh, we'll talk about it after the fights. But it's in his hands, and I, I'm well confident that he's, he's ready to go. This could very well be number one contenders for both of you guys, right? It's crazy, man. Team Pettis is coming over today. I mean, Sunday, Sunday's gonna be a fun day for Team Pettis. Diaz and Poirier are kind of petitioning for a 165 pound division uh, for their fight. That's something you think is needed in the UFC, 165? I think so. I mean, it's, it's a hard cut for guys to get down from you know the, the higher weight classes. Like Kies, Kies is a big guy like that, and I'm staring up at him. I'm like, how is he making 55? Um, so it gives these guys more options. I mean, I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but what? But I think it makes sense. 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, and then you move 75 up. Or, I mean, I'm sure the guys at 70 would be happy about that. You know, make it another 10, 10 pounds every, every division, and then we'll go from there. I know a lot of times when you and your brother fight on the car, you know, it's emotional for both of you. Will you even watch his fight ahead of yours? Yeah, this time I, I'm, I've been watching everything. I'm going to go and smell the air. I'm going to breathe in everything. I'm, just, I'm having a good time right now. i got shit talking about it. I'm excited. What are your thoughts on the main event between Khabib and Conor? Obviously, you almost fought Khabib. There was a fight that didn't come together. What are your thoughts on how this plays out? And will you be looking to sort of send a message to them if the fight goes well for you with Tony before they even step in the octagon? Yeah, I mean, I think my performance will send the message. Um, I think uh, that fight's a great fight, man. Khabib's undefeated. Uh, you know, I had to, I almost had the chance to fight him in, in Brooklyn. That didn't. I think the media pushed that harder than it was. I really didn't have a, a guaranteed answer that I was, you know, fighting with Khabib. So. Uh, mm -hmm. It was almost there, you know, it got me excited, but you know, now, now I'm here, I'm fighting Tony. 
uh, the main events, a great fight. Um, Conor McGregor, Khabib, Khabib, I mean, they're both, they're both killers. What would excite you more, a fight with Khabib mm -hmm. or Conor McGregor, depending on sort of who wins the UFC 229? What excites you more in a matchup? Whoever has a belt. You talked to me in your, ahead of your last fight about getting away from the wrestling game back to what makes it fun for you. How have you approached this camp? Is it kind of the same philosophy? Same exact way, and I had a blast. It, it felt good to have fun training again. Now, I, I was happy to go to the gym. I was motivated to go to the gym. Um, I've gotten so much better, and I, I can't wait to show it. Yourself excluded, who's the best lightweight in the world right now? Could be. So you think he beats Connor? No, I think Connor wins. How? Uh, Knockout. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what round because Khabib gets it and Connor has the ability to put him away. Are you so, just seeing holes in the striking game with Khabib? And then I mean, we all seen holes in the striking game. We saw his last fight against Al, and you know we seen how he performed. If, if he comes like that against Connor, uh, I mean that's, that's the wrong guy to go against. So we, I'm sure he's motivated. I'm sure Connor's motivated. <laughs> um, but I, I'm picking Connor. So is it just a case of styles make fights, or do you think whoever has the belt is the rightful best in the lightweight world? I don't know. What do you mean? Well, because you said Khabib is the best lightweight in the world. Oh, yeah, he's the champ. I mean, Khabib's the current champion. I mean, so he, Connor has to go over and prove it again. Where does Tony rank in that conversation? I mean, he's in the longest winning streak in the history of this weight class. So yeah, but who's he for? That's what we have to look at. I mean, who, is he, who, who did he win the belt against? I mean, even Khabib, who did he win the belt against? Like, he didn't win the belt against the world champion. So we're in a weird spot. Um, you look at the last 10 fights, like, let's, let's, I mean, there's some good wins, some great wins, but. Again, he's not the best in the division. So who do, you, who do you feel is the rightful champion of the division? And do you feel maybe Conor McGregor might have that claim because he beat Eddie Alvarez, who's technically... Well, I think, I think Conor's win already was solidifies him more as a champion than Khabib beating El Quinta. I mean, that's, that's, just, that's just facts. So uh, I, it, it, the, belts, the belts, it is where it is. They had to make, they had to do it for the business. They had to move it forward. But if, if it was true to the game, I mean, Conor would be the champion. Have you watched uh, some of Tony's workout videos? On, on I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm Tony's a Tony's a killer, man. I, I respect this guy's fighter, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and try to his ass. He seems kind of like an unorthodox uh, type, yeah. type of guy. Is that something that's to worry about going to fights? You don't really know what he's going to do. He's unpredictable. Well, that's why his success is so great. I think, and that's how I used to be. I used to be so comfortable in the chaos that I, I just pull off a guillotine, you know, I pull off these submissions. I make these guys so uncomfortable with the chaos, the submissions and the, the knockouts happen, and that's what he's doing for himself too. So I'm excited about it. Do you see some of yourself in, in him a little bit? No, I don't. I think he does a totally different style. I don't think anybody in, in, in the UFC has my style. I think I have a, a very different style, and, and when I'm true to my game, um, we leave it with a smile on their face. The fans give it a pay for it. Given his style, are you surprised he's won as many fights in a row as he has? That he hasn't just been caught at some point or made you know, a mistake? Nah, he is Mexican, bro. And I train with Mexicans. The Mexicans are tough. I'm Mexican, no. These Mexicans are tough. And if you have a little bit of skill in the Mexican, you, you, you can go a long way. Anthony, you're on, you're on your brother all the time, and he hasn't won a title yet. You have. What do you think is like, if there is one, a difference just in, in how that motivation works when you've had it and you're trying to get it back, or when you haven't had it yet? I stopped thinking about that, man. I stopped trying to get it back. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on my I'm on my title run right now. This is my real title run. This is gonna be the real title run where I get to hold on to this. I'm ready for it now. Before I was too young, I, I took it for granted. I, I kind of, I, I took it for granted. You know, I was in a spot where I, I wasn't ready for it, and. Uh, that had to happen, you know. I went back. I watched the RDA fight. I appreciated what happened in that fight. Um, I showed some heart. I showed some great things, and, and I, I know that's there. And, and that, that right there, I think that, that me watching that fight freed me. You know, I wasn't trying to chase the belt. I wasn't trying to erase RDA. I was trying to grow from it, and that's where I'm at now. Would you say you're in a better place mentally now than you were? Probably when, even when you had the title. Does it seem like you're a little bit happy? Man, happier. I feel so good. Everything from my from my from my. Private life, my fiance, my daughter, my my every my gyms, my businesses. I feel I'm man. It was good. How much? I mean, it sounds like it's liberating, but was that dark place necessary? That dark to place was me. I, I made that dark place happen. I let all this these comments and all the Instagram, social media, all the talk about Pettis is too old and he's retiring, he's wrestled. I let that get in my head, and, and that made a dark place. I was in my own dark place until I just feel it, figured it out. Like I just got to get out of there, have fun, train again, and the results will show. Was it somebody that you talked to, or it was just something that clicked inside of you to, to pull you out of it? I was just tired of fucking losing, man. Honestly, I'm like, I got what is going on? Like, I know I'm, I, I, when I spar, I'm dropping guys left and right. I'm, I'm, I'm killing, and then I'm like, what's the difference in, to the fight? I'm putting so much pressure on that 15 minutes that I forget to go have fun and be me, and I'm getting back to doing it. Does that mean you sort of ignore social media a little bit these days, and what people are saying, and what's being written, and is that sort of, a, I guess, 
a focus of yours? No, I definitely don't ignore it because I mean I want to know what the fans are thinking. I want to know who's next in line. I want to know because that's who dictates who's next in line for a title shot. Fans, not not no rankings, not your performance. Who do the fans want to see fight? That's who's next in line for to be the best in the world. Um, I want to know what it is, but now I have a filter. You know, I, I understand. I can't let that go deep in, into. In, let, I can't let it cut. You know, I can't let it go deep where I'm like taking offense to it. If I take offense to it, then it must be true, and and, and I know it's not true. Okay. No. Cool. Thanks. I got it. Thank you guys.